Hello there, this video is about multiplying fractions. Okay, how to multiply fractions is very, very easy. The first one I'm going to go to is this nice, simple one, a half times a half, which is written down here, equals a quarter. Another way of thinking about this, a half times a half, is a half of a half. A half of a half is a quarter. Okay, another way of writing of in maths is by writing times. The way you might think about this is, say, half of a half a dollar, half a dollar is 50 cents, half of that is 25 cents. So half of a half a dollar is this one quarter of a dollar. Okay. Anyway, doing this maths wise, okay, what you generally do is you get the two top numbers and you multiply them by each other. One times one equals one. The two bottom numbers, two times two equals four. So we'll go through a couple of other examples of this. Okay, what about this one? Two thirds times five sixths. Again, the two top numbers you multiply one another, so two times five is ten. The bottom numbers, three times six equals eighteen. So the answer to this is ten over eighteen. This can be simplified even further if you divide the top and the bottom number by two and you get the answer of five over nine. Another example of this is say where we have a mixed number like two and a half times three first thing you can do with a mixed number is you have to change it into an improper fraction so two and a half becomes five over two and you have to change three into an improper fraction in this case three becomes three over one so then you have something like five over two times three over one which gives you the answer of fifteen over two so fifteen over two becomes if it's simplified seven and a half okay that's all there is there so summing everything up, when multiplying fractions you should do the following. The first thing is, you should change any mixed numbers into improper fractions. Then what you should do, is you should multiply the top number of the first fraction by the top number of the second fraction. You should multiply the bottom number of the first fraction by the bottom number of the second fraction. And then you simplify your answer. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.